around this area there's plenty of trees like this great big gum trees and these trees are notorious for dropping their bark as you can see along the roadside here it's just everywhere They're like giant snakes shedding their skin, revealing under, what's underneath, the new, the new skin coming forward, what's ready to, to take on the, the world, what's ready to, to take on the, the hardships of, of all those things that will come against it. There's a great analogy in this for us, because like trees and like snakes in some ways, our skin is constantly uh, dropping off, new skin is being revealed, and we face the hardships of the world as we are. But for many of us, we also have things in our life that need to be dropped away, things that need to be peeled away, removed from our life to reveal who we truly are. Whether it be alcohol or um, gambling, drugs, lying, cheating, um, working to the point of neglecting the things that really matter, there's so many things in our life that we may just need to, to peel away, to, to drop and leave in the past. Sort of like all, all this bark. Just let it go. And for many of us, we find it hard to, to let these things go because we don't stop long enough to realize what it is that we need to let go of. What it is that's covering up who we really are. It's like the masks that we put on to cover up who we really are so people can't see who we are supposed to be. We do all those things out of pain, fear, hurt, rejection, uh, the past, worry of the future. There's all sorts of reasons why we do it. But there comes a point where we need to take the opportunity. We need to take the time to start to peel away all those layers, to peel away those things in our life that don't belong there. See, the Bible calls some of these things sin. They're the things that get in the way of who we are, of who we've made, been made to be. They hide away the things, sometimes the, the pain, like this tree is showing with the sap that's been pouring out of it. It's been hurt in the past. Sometimes we use these things to, to hide away that stuff. But it's not always sin. It's not always a sin that gets in the way. And sometimes it's positive things as well that from the outside they look positive, like working hard, um, accumulating assets, and, and doing all these different things. But they are just layers they're just skin stuff that's hiding the inside where do we go to get help where do we go to be able to drop these things from our life to let it sit in the past and not affect our present and our future well places like churches doctors counselors therapists Psychologists, psychiatrists, they're some of the places that we can turn to. Friends and family, uh, especially uh, when they're there to help us, can be used. Self-reflection, stopping and taking stock of our life. Who are we? What do we want from life? Where are we going? What are we doing? Why do we do the things that we do? And how does this stuff get in the way of who we should be? It's a great place to start. The Bible helps us to understand who we are meant to be, who we've been made to be. When we open it up and read it, we can start to see what life should be about, but also the reality of what life is actually like as well, how we have these things in our life that get in the way. 
If you want life to be different, if you want your life to change, start today. Start peeling these layers back. Strip these things back from your life until you see what's underneath, what's under it all.